Hi, this is Billy Decker. Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Billy Decker Bus Glue Series from JST. This is Module 2 where we talk about the acoustic bus glue. Follow me. The first thing I want to show you, I've got a, an acoustic guitar. I've got a stereo acoustic guitar. Let me scroll down right here. Let me let you hear what this sounds like. That actually was recorded by one of Nashville's finest acoustic guitar players, but since I haven't asked him if he could be on this video, I'll just leave him anonymous. But trust me, you've heard this guy all over the records, all over the radio. Second thing I want to do is add the Billy Decker acoustic bus glue on. Make sure everything is zeroed out, and let me explain what a few things about this plug-in do. See this screw right here? Every single Billy Decker bus glue has this. This is basically how you calibrate your audio going into the plug-in. I like to just play a little audio and then start finessing it in. Let's go right there. Next thing we're going to do is add a little compression. See how I actually used a combination of the calibration screw or the trim knob, whatever you want to call it, and the actual compression to get it sitting where that's where they need to be. Trust me, there's your money. Now, every single Billy Decker bus glue plug-in has a decorate button. I could tell you what it does, but if you watch the first module, you'll end up dead, so don't even bother asking. Now check this out. Now, let's copy that over to our other side of our acoustic guitar, I guess is how you put it. It's a stereo guitar. All right, so let's see how this sits in the mix. Let's. Uh, play a little uh, bass, acoustic, and drums. Trust me, these things kick ass. You're gonna want these. It's My goal in building these was to actually just be able to have a few parameters, but take the guesswork out of almost everything you have to do. And like I said, module number one, these are my exact settings that you hear when you hear something I've mixed on the radio. So I know they sound good when they hit the radio. I know they sound good when they hit the boom box. I know they're going to sound good when your stuff hits these. Let's move on to acoustic number two in the chorus. Now, a lot of times you're going to say, oh, this stuff's going to get lost in the course. Hardest thing is to get this stuff up above the rest of the track and get it sitting right. A bazooka is a stringed instrument. Billy Decker Bus Glue Acoustic works on acoustics, bazookies, mandolins, fiddles. Uh, and coming up, we're going to show you what it sounds like on a ganjo or a banjo, for lack of a better term. So let's go ahead and put the Billy Decker Bus Glue on then. Let's get rid of those. Let's quiet them down. Let's do this. Get our gain structure right with our trim knob.
that was easy. Now let's put the decorate button up. Done. You want to mix an acoustic guitar that fast? Here's how you do it. Now let's check out the bazooki. I don't want to crush that too much because I still want to hear it hitting on the strings if I flatline it. That's no good. Don't do that. You want to uh, lose every ounce of respect that you've worked this hard to gain. And your girlfriend or wife will leave you too, so don't, don't even bother. All right, decorate it. Done. Let's hear that in the track. All right. See, my point's been made. Let's put one on this ganjo, like I was just telling everybody. And you'll find your sweet spot depending on how big your audio is. So this is how big my audio is. Let's, well, it looks like I've already gained him up there. It came in looking like that. That's too quiet. I got a rule, if there's a quarter inch up top and a quarter inch on the bottom, you're probably okay as far as gain structure goes. Uh, I'm just gonna take a guess. I'm gonna take a guess. Now mind you, these attack and release times are preset for what I like. And since I've only been wrong twice in my life, and the first one was in module number one, and the second one is probably going to be in about 30 seconds. So. That was my fault. So there you have it, the Acoustic Billy Decker Bus Glue Compressor by JST.